Hey there Dev Squad Furtis here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video, we are going to be packaging our game so it is going to be a standalone game that other people are going to be able to play. So if you take a look at my screen now, you are going to be able to see the final result of the game that we've been working on at and over this series. Now this is it for the series, so we have got our complete game, we have got our main menu, everything works, we're able to go into here, we're able to play this, and we've got our enemies, we can go through the waves, we can die, we can upgrade our player and all of that good stuff. And we've made some really solid progress on this game and I'm really excited with where it's gone. Now, what we're gonna be doing in today's video, like I said, is we are going to be packaging this game up, getting it ready for other people to play it. In addition to this, we're also going to be doing some last minute checks to make sure everything is going to work Work the way that we want it to, everything is going to be bug free and completely seamless when we turn this into a game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine and make all of this happen. So packaging your game in itself is actually straightforward, but before you do that, you want to do a couple of checks. Now first things first, you want to go through and you want to make sure you have built all of your level data for this game that you're working on. So that is going to be in both the main menu and also inside of the gameplay level as well. So having said that, go ahead and hit build up at the top here. Now when you do that, you want to make sure you change your lighting quality to production to get the very best results with that. Once you've done that, hit build and that is going to build your geometry, your paths, your LODs, and everything like that. The main thing, however, is going to be your lighting. Now, in addition to doing it in this level, you also want to go through and you wanna make sure that you do this in your main level as well for the main menu. So having said that, open up that main menu level and then just go through and build that lighting as well. Now, I've already done that. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly build that lighting and then what we're gonna do is look at the project settings and make sure that all of that is gonna be set up in the right way so that when you do export your game, it is going to give you the result that you're looking for. So I'm gonna leave that lighting to build there and then I'm gonna go up and I'm going to edit my project settings. Now inside of here, the main thing that I want to be looking for is our maps and modes. Inside of here, we need to make sure that our default game mode is going to be our third person game mode. And what this is going to do is essentially just give you this game mode we've been working on with our character, with these enemies and the scoring, the waves and all of that good stuff. You want to have your default pawn class set to third person character. HUD class is going to be HUD, use the default player controller, state base, player state, and then your spectator class is going to be your spectator pawn. Now moving on from there, your default maps are very important. Your editor startup map doesn't matter too much, but you do want to make sure your game default map, which is the map that will be loaded by default, is set to your main menu. So as soon as you open up that executable file, you are going to get your main menu. As for the rest of the settings in here, we are gonna leave this just the way that it is. Now going into our inputs, if you want to add any additional inputs for this, such as game controllers, you can go in there and do that, but you just wanna make sure that all of these are set up to bindings, which the player is actually going to be able to work with. And then we've also got our target hardware. Make sure this is set to desktop and console and maximum quality as well. Now, if you're working with other platforms, you can change this. And if we go over to our supported platforms, you wanna make sure that Windows is ticked. Now, we're not gonna be exporting this for any of the other platforms for now. It's just gonna be for Windows. So just make sure that's all good. Going over to our packaging, what we wanna do is set our build configuration to shipping. And this is essentially going to stop all of the little extras for debugging being introduced into this. And then for the rest of the settings, we're just gonna leave this the way that it is. If yours are different, what you can do is just pause this video now and copy the rest of this. Now, once all of that is good to go, and we've built the levels for our main menu, and our gameplay level, what we're gonna be doing is simply going to File, Package Project, 
and then Windows 64 bit. What this is going to do from here is essentially just save our game. What we're going to be doing is just creating a new folder on our desktop, which is where this is going to be exported out to. And we're going to give this the name Mech Combat. We're going to create that folder. We're going to hit select folder. And what this is going to do now is package that project. And if I was to go through and I was to go onto my desktop, you are going to be able to see all of this coming to life. So if we hop in here, we have got our Mech Combat folder. And what it's going to do is over time, it's going to be putting all of these files into here. Now, packaging your game can be quite a lengthy process. Depending on the size of your game, this can take a little while. Now, in the test package that I did for the Met Combat, it is going to do it in about five minutes for me. Now, bear in mind, though, I do have a high performance processor and an SSD. As you can see there, it's now finished packaging. And if we was to go into this Met Combat folder, we've now got a folder with the name Windows No Editor, and we have got the Met Combat application. If we was to go ahead and open this up, this is going to take us into our game. We've got our main menu here. We can go into the instructions. We can start the game. We can play the game and do all of that good stuff. And what you also want to do is whenever you are shipping out your game, sending it to other people, make sure that you play test it. Spend a couple of hours or maybe even just an hour just testing to make sure everything works. Make sure you're able to damage all of your enemies, make sure all of the buttons in your UI works and all of that good stuff. But for now, I am 100% happy with this. Now, if you wanted to send this to someone to be able to play, what I would say you need to do is just go ahead and zip this up for them because you don't want to be sending them a folder like this. It's much more attractive if you send it to them in a zip file. Now, there is pieces of software online that you can get, which is actually going to make you be able to essentially create an installer. Now, that is something that you can do. There is lots of solutions for that. But for now, all I'm going to do is simply using WinRAR, I am going to zip this up. So I'm going to right click it. I'm going to add it to the archive. And then I'm going to give this the name Mech Combat. And then I'm going to set the format to zip as that is what most people have. I'm going to press OK. And then all this is going to do is simply zip it up into a format and a package that I can send to pretty much anyone. Being that the file size is quite small, it's only 700 megabytes, this should not take too much time at all. And as you can see here, this has been done and finished in 20 seconds. And with this file now, the zip folder, if I right click on this, go to the properties, you can see that this is only going to be 420 megabytes. That is relatively small for a game because it is zipped up. Now then, now what you've seen that I've done here with the packaging process, you have seen it has gone really smoothly because I've not made any mistakes. I know what, exactly what I'm doing in terms of Unreal Engine. My code is the way it should be. Now, if you are getting any errors when you're packaging, what I would say is go ahead and check out the output log, which is going to show up in the bottom right hand corner and it's going to show you a list. Now, if you get any red errors, now if you've copied everything that I've done, you are not going to have any errors. But if you do have them, just take a look through them, read them, read what they say, and that should point you into the right direction as to what's going on. Now, if you need that extra helping hand, what I would say is simply go ahead and jump onto our Discord server, as our Discord server has lots of people in there that are going to be able to offer you a helping hand. There is over 3,000 other Unreal developers in here. They're all helping each other out. So definitely go ahead and hop in, the link for which is in the description. But for now, guys, that is absolutely everything for our mech combat series if you do want to see anything else included into the series just let me know in the comments below i hope you have enjoyed it but for now guys stay awesome keep creating boy vertus signing out this video was made possible by my supporters on patreon if you want more videos like this check out my patreon page using the link in the description to stay up to date on new releases make sure you follow us on social media